going to prepare the models now for mounting. They've been poured and trimmed, and now we're going to do some additional trimming to prepare them for the mounting procedure. First of all, we're going to create some index holes. You can do that just using this large burr. Put three of them. And these function in case it ever came off, it'd be easily replaced in your mounted stone. You do the same thing with the lower model. It doesn't take a lot of indexing to get the indentation that you need. We're also going to trim the border or the land area around the model and the vestibule. So you can use this same instrument. You can also use a sanding disc. You have to be very careful not to touch the teeth or the gingiva. It's a good idea to rest your hands on the countertop and use your fingers to guide the burr across the stone surface to just create a land area all the way around the model. Be sure to preserve all of the frenum that are frena that are there so that you have an anatomically correct model as well. And do the same with the upper arch, preserving the retromolar pad on the lower and the tuberosity and hamular notch area on the upper. You can also do this with a green handled knife. It just takes a little bit longer. But you reduce the risk of hitting the gingiva or the teeth with the rotating burr. Also do some trimming and smoothing with the green handled knife as well. The lathe has a feature called quick chuck where you can actually, while it's running, you can actually exchange the burrs by just pulling down on this handle It'll kick out the old burr, put the new burr in its place, and then just carefully coordinate the release so that you now have a new burr working at regular speed. To change out is to reverse that process, put the new burr in, and then just carefully 
release so that you don't catch your fingers in there. It's a very nice feature, speeds up the laboratory process. It's also important to clean all the debris off of the model when you're done and you can use the high powered hose. And that will clean all of the loose stone so that your model is looking nice and ready to mount. Another important part of the mounting process now is to also moisten the surface of the stone so that it will bond properly with the mounting stone when you get into the mounting process.